welcome back to Summary 23's Thought Experiment. This is episode 6 of the Scale and Rotation System um, tutorial series. Now we're just finishing up some um, minor changes uh, to the um, handles, the scale handles. And then uh, I've decided a couple of other quick changes that I'm, I want to make. But um, let's get into it. And now we're going to uh, set up all of our eight points around the object like we had planned. Um, to do that, remember we're returning void, but we are sending in the position when we call this method. Um, so we're going to do, let's see, first we need to create our cube. So we're going to go game object cube equals game object dot create primitive primitive type cube of course we can make this uh, cylinder or sphere we can do any of that stuff um, cube dot transform dot local scale equals new vector It's a vector 3, and we're going to go 0.2f in all axes. All right. Now, cube.transform.position is going to equal position, that one right there. And then cube dot transform dot parent will equal this transform. Cube dot tag equals scale and rot sys not the class and then we're going to go render we need access to this particular cubes renderer so we'll say render cube rend as to not cause confusion with the other render we have access to cube dot get component render oops and then cube rend dot material equals uh, sar scale mat And I think everything is right there. Um, let's see here. So we create the, the the primitive. You know what? Let's do this just for the fun of it. Untested. But it shouldn't matter. Um, render, cube rend. Oh, one point I would like to make. So you see here where we've got render, we, we've created a fresh render and we've initialized it to um, the cubes get render component, our renderer component. And then we set the material here. What we could have done would be cube dot get component renderer dot material equals It's essentially these two lines in one single line. So I uh, will even test it just to make sure. So here's without that line. 
let it compile positioning's a bit off and something else is weird we're missing one but you see the 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 spheres are there and I'm pretty sure that's a separate yeah okay so there more or less working um now we'll comment these out real quick so exact same thing less code cleaner cleaner to look at etc etc all right so looking into whatever the problem here was um this was changed from my original plan I, I decided to go a different route with it uh and i don't think i adjusted it correctly so here is what we need to do we need to multiply this by 1.1f and this by 1.1f I bet some of y'all caught this when y'all originally did this but you'll notice that 4 and 5 are the same one of them needs to be 0 1 and 1 and those should those fixes should have this working correctly there we go and now we will change it back to a cube and you know what I want them to be a little bit smaller than that. Let's see how that looks. Awesome. Well, there we go, everybody. We've got our selector box working. Let's uh, add a game object we'll do a capsule click on it boosh there we go now before we call this one finished we're going to add a couple of quick um couple more editable elements to the manager um for the selection boxes uh we're, we're going to uh change the uh, primitive types that you can choose from uh, as well as changing the scale of the handles um, so let's let's get into that real quick first of all we need to load up our manager and here we are going to create up and we're going to do it in between Ooh. The selector color and the scale handle color. Um, we want public primitive type handle type. Then we want to make a public static primitive type. We're going to call this uh, my handle type. And then we're going to set my handle type to be equal to handle type. Then before color let's do public float um, 
we're going to call this handle scale. And we're going to make that equal to 1.0. Then we need public static my whoops float my handle scale and then my handle scale equals Handle scale. All right, and Control S to save. Let's pull up Manager. Let it compile. All right, so we got a scale of one and a handle type uh, selectable. Uh, some of these primitives don't really work for handles, but maybe we can deal with that later. Now, let's pull up the actual system and we need a primitive type do we need a primitive type here i don't think we do yeah let's do it this way um primitive type pt equals Scale and rot manager dot handle type. And then we will put PT right here. Then let's see how that works. Now we're going to create a float. Um, H scale equals scale and rot manager dot my handle scale and we're going to try it this way let it compile select the manager we're going to choose capsule make it 1.2 okay so we can see the capsule is working not sure if the scale is let's go high change it to cylinder boosh it is absolutely working but it also looks like these cylinders oops they need something destroyed don't they all right let's do that real quick here destroy cube dot get component dot collider oops There we go, much better. And then we can reset. All right, looks like we're done for now. The next step will be to actually scale things. Uh, then we will add rotation handles and rotate. Um, 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Above all else, have fun. Uh, make sure you check out my Patreon. The, the uh, link's in the description below. And uh, share this with everybody, please. Thank you. Good night.